I've never seen somebody before fry pancakes. This is my first time I've ever seen this. But it's not the worst thing I've ever seen Jackie cook before. It is kind of crazy, though, to fry. I've never seen this before in my entire life. Before we start the video any further, actually, I want to... I just want to talk about Aunt Jackie for a second. So, I did a video on Aunt Jackie, like, a week ago, right? And a week ago as a time of this making this video and she actually was in the comments for the video and she said some things you're gonna see the comment maybe on your screen right now and i thought it wasn't the real aunt jackie because sometimes people will just put on fake names and they'll just say things to you and they go you you did this or whatever but no it was the actual aunt jackie it was like actually her which was like really really cool i even invited her to maybe do a collab or do a video with me but uh, no dice, no interrupt. I don't know if Aunt Jackie is like the type is very technically sound. I mean, I'm guessing that she is, given the fact that she has a TikTok page, a YouTube channel, and she has an Instagram and other stuff like that. So I, I would have thought that maybe she would have been able to, but I'm not really sure. She had a gripe with me saying I think she was like 32 or something like that, which I thought was like funny. I don't know. It seemed like pretty funny, a joke in the sense of like, you know, people from the UK age so goddamn fast or like they look a lot older than they actually are i thought it was like a running joke but she didn't find that very funny or maybe she did i don't know regardless um aunt jackie you know <laughs> celebrity hit me up dude i feel special i feel special you know overall it's not too bad there's a lot of grease though on the pan if you're cooking eggs it shouldn't be this greasy but you know what i'm really critiquing something that's like you know the whole pan itself is already crustated so it, it it's almost it almost doesn't matter i don't even know why i'm critiquing it at all but you know it, it is how aunt jackie cooks the food so i'm not gonna like really be that hard on her oh and the and she's gonna have some sausages on the side too this is a full this is a full meal you know making my blue collar husband pancakes and sausage before his 13 hour shift i'm surprised he can even wake up in the morning to even get this food dude after all the food that he's been eating from aunt jack gotta salt him of course and oh whew, salted some of the pancakes too just getting a little bit of salt on the pancakes too man okay you know what i'll give her that i'll give her that dude she's got maple syrup too many people in the uk they have told me that in the uk it's not very popular to have actual maple maple syrup like pancake syrup for pancakes which is really crazy to me i thought that it was just like a customary thing to put pancake syrup on pancakes who would have known but apparently in the uk it's not very incentivized not many people even do it at all i guess the main thing that people put on there is like chocolate spread or some other stuff i couldn't be too sure like chocolate spread i guess for all of it is Pretty, pretty normal compared to syrup. Here in America, we use maple syrup. That's like, if you order pancakes anywhere, it's an oddity for somebody to put something other than maple syrup on their pancakes. So I will give Jackie, because I do believe Jackie is from the UK. So I will give her credit for putting the maple syrup on. Well, I don't know what she's gonna put it on. I hope she doesn't put it on the fucking pan as they're cooking. I, I you know, as much as I want to give her credit for frying up the pancakes, which I never thought I would ever say, refrying the pancakes in like a tub of a vat of oil, I, I can't, I can't give this credit, dude, because she's pouring the maple syrup directly on the refried, the refried pancakes, which is crazy. I don't even know if you're even going to get the sensation of the maple syrup anymore. It's just mixing with all the other grease on the pan. It, this is an abom <laughs> this is actually an abomination actually there's there's nothing about this that i can actually give awards now to damn well it's better than salt i'll give it that it's better than coating it with salt but the one on the left here did get coated a little bit with salt so i mean it's it's not the it's not the worst but it's also not the best like the thing about aunt jackie is that it's almost kind of edible like you could probably eat this one time and then you might be okay you might like be leaned over a little bit after you take a bite or whatever this is but overall it's like somewhat edible though it may be a little salty like if you always took a bite of this and just opened up your mouth and just like a <laughs> tumbleweeds coming out of there clint eastwood and shit like that but putting the maple syrup directly on the pancakes as they cook is crazy that's like somebody uh pouring in the milk like that's like somebody pouring in the milk before they put the cereal in it's just there's an order of operations to it i've never seen somebody before put the maple syrup on the pancakes before 
Scrape up the... Oh. The technique. Okay. I really wonder... Because these are frozen pancakes. These are not homemade pancakes. So, these are like <laughs> pre-made shit you can get out of the grocery... The frozen food section. I really wonder what these would even taste like. Would it just be the grease? Would it would it would it would it be the embodiment of the grease? Would you get any flavor from the actual pancake itself? Is the maple syrup even alive at all on these pancakes? That's to me that that's the biggest question. And you know what's really interesting though, even though it's not a lot of food for her 13-hour shift blue-collar husband, it's a lot of calories because it's being cooked perpetually in grease after grease. I, I, I thoroughly believe this grease has been cooked through four, five, six, seven times before this. So you're getting a lot of calories in this meal and you're getting a lot of calories from the meals before that as well. So you're just stacking perpetually calories on this. Damn. Ooh, grease. I, I love I love Jackie's cooking. It's just so good. It's so beautiful. It's it looks like something you could eat. And you know what? A lot of people have told me this is just default UK cooking. A lot of people have told me that. So you can let me know down below in the comment section if this is just normal for you guys in the UK. Here in America, we actually even though a lot of people make fun of Americans and like how we eat in our large portion sizes and our crazy high calorie foods that we eat. I agree. We do have some insane amounts of calories on our food. But uh, this is worse. This is way worse. Much, much, much worse. Scrape up the Teflon. I I'm surprised that I don't see more Teflon on the food, bro. The way that she scrapes it up, it 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 you can really hear. You can really hear the Teflon resisting. It's not the worst. I'll give her. I'll give it on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being like, you know, edible. This is like a... A three? This is not bad. This is not the worst. I could probably eat this and be okay for like four days. She got the family dot, by the way. That's fam that's some family dollar fucking plates, bro. You know what, bro? I bought these plates before. I've bought these like one dollar for eight plates or something like that. However many plates these are. I got the red ones. They never clean properly. Damn, hot dogs? Making my blue collar husband hot dogs and mushroom omelet before hot dogs in general are not very good because like, okay, I love hot dogs. I will confess that I love hot dogs. But the fact that Jackie is making this like it, you couldn't make your, your husband who's working 12 hours. How much is he making in an hour? That's what I want to know. You couldn't make him some gourmet shit. Like what, what are, what are hot dogs, right? They're like foreskin. They're like hoofs. They're somebody's ankle. Right? There's probably a dude in there. Somebody cut off his finger and maybe you're getting a little bit of that in there. Whatever. But the point I'm making is like, out of everything that you can make your husband, why the hot dogs? And why are they so fucking long? Where'd you even get these like, what, what are these like six, seven, eight inch hot dogs, dude? BBC size hot dogs? And I've never heard of a hot dog omelet. I've never seen that shit before in my life. Two eggs. Damn. Pre-scrambled. And you know it's, You know it's. <laughs> My bad. I just saw the salt hit the hit the eggs before the eggs was even cooked. You want to at least cook the eggs, right? Like before you before you salt anything. So I I don't know if the pan was just not hot at all. I don't know. I get so upset when people cook food and the pan isn't hot prior to the food touching the pan. To me, it just seems like you're just letting the food swim, you know, until the the pan co uh, heats up. Damn, damn, that's salt, bro. That, you know, one thing, I, it's so, it's already fermented. Like, I don't think she washes the spatula or whatever you want to call this, this big spoon. One thing I will say about uh, Case Cook, uh, one thing I will say about Auntie Jackie is that she's very efficient. She uses the same utensil in every single video. She uses the same, yeah, I don't see her using any other pan or any other uh, utensils. She's very efficient and she doesn't wash any of it. So that's also very efficient on her part. I'll give her a solid 10 on that one. Uh, lack of dishes. Insane. I don't think that she even thought about washing these though. So I don't think there was ever even a, an option for that. Damn. Scrape it up, dude. Woo! Damn! Hear that Teflon, dude. What is that? Is that chocolate? Okay. 
it's it's kind of edible it's kind of edible even though you like obviously you don't want to scrape up the fucking teflon on the pan it's it's a little bit edible it's a little bit edible <laughs> canned mushrooms Ooh. i i will confess i do love mushrooms i i really love mushrooms i remember when i was a kid uh, i used to get steak and I would have just mushrooms with it. Cook steak with cooked mushrooms, dude. It was my favorite food when I was growing up as a kid. I haven't had mushrooms in a long time since then. But I really do love mushrooms. I understand they're like the penis of the, the ground or whatever. And I know they're fungus. I know a lot of people say that shit. Like, oh, Dave, you're only eating fungus. You drink milk, right? You drink milk. You've eaten, you've eaten ass before. I don't know why so many people want to take the high ground when it comes to particular food choices. You know, like, don't act like you haven't put disgusting things in your mouth either. I, I, at least I'm getting nutrition out of it. But where does the omelet come from, though? Like, how do you turn this into an omelet? Isn't the point of an omelet is to have the pre- the pre-scramble and then have that as like a layer and then put the food on top of that as you fold it. Am I wrong on that? Okay, may, uh, uh, to me it just seems like we're missing a step, but it looks like scrambled. Salt, of course, gotta re-salt it. it uh, this is not an omelet. <laughs> Jackie, this is not an omelet. It's just scrambled eggs and some kind of black things with hot dogs in it. it and a lot of salt. A boatload of fucking salt on a already greased up dollar store plate it's not an omelet an omelet requires like a layer right am i wrong can somebody let me know damn getting more food on the fucking stove than on the pan Woo! shit's fighting back this the food is fighting back dude. it doesn't even want to fucking go onto the plate is that a macaroni noodle is that a noodle from some craft damn Scraping it. Ooh. Running away. What do you guys think about the omelet? Give me a scale of 1 to 10 in the comment section. What are we rating this omelet right here? Well, I'm not going to rate it. I'll let you guys rate it in the comment section. Go ahead. Oh, Macaroni cheese in a can is crazy. And you're cook. Ew, I, I've never seen somebody cook macaroni and cheese in, in a fryer. I've never seen this. Like, frying it on the stove is crazy. Oh! 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 It, it don't, it doesn't look bad. I'll give it that. It doesn't look bad. I know, I know nobody should be eating this. This is like the forbidden fruit. Nobody should be eating this. No, there's no, there's no possibility of anybody should, should be consuming this. It's all disgusting, but even still, it, it kind of looks good. <laughs> it kind of looks a little good, right? Oh, oh, oh. Gotta salt the cheese. More cheese on the macaroni and cheese. Scrape it up that Teflon, dude. Damn, that shit dried up. It looks like the, the macaroni and cheese absorbed the oil that was on the pan. It kind of looks like we cleaned out the oil almost. What, which is all... It's, it's going into her husband's arteries. I, I've yet to see, actually... I've yet to see Aunt Jackie cook something for herself. I would love to see her eat that food, man. I would really love to see somebody feed their mouth with that. Because uh, if her husband is realistically coming home every single day eating this fucking bog, this dog water ass food, which, you know, at least her wife is cooking, I guess. His wife is cooking for him. He's working his, his nine to, what I don't even know what you want to call this, uh, 13 hour, 15 hour work, work days every day, by the way. At least she's cooking for him. But even still, um, I would love to see somebody eat this. Damn. Woo. Scraping it off the pan. Signature. You you guys thought the salt was signature. No, no, it's the Teflon. The Teflon is the signature. Woo, damn. If you if you can't judge between the salt or the Teflon, then you know it's good. If you can't see the difference, then you know you did it right. Damn. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad. Woo. Damn, those hot dogs already look like... <laughs> they already look foreskinned. Just some regular mushrooms, huh? 
making my blue collar husband a full English breakfast before his $12 shift. All right. Hot dogs and whew, just toss it on the pan. No love. No love on that, dude. She, she just tossed it on the fucking pan, dude. Like it was slop. Damn, that's just gonna be dry as fuck. Beans in the pan. Wow, okay. Is this how you do it? Is this how we make a full English breakfast over there in the UK? Let me know down below. Because if this is how you do it, I, there's a reason why I'm never gonna be traveling. Damn, salt in the beans is crazy. Damn, bro. Another egg? Damn. Gotta scrape it up a little bit. Salt it. More salt. Oh, shit. That shit is super fighting to get off the pan, bro. Damn. Just eating whole ass mushrooms like that is crazy, bro. Couldn't even cut up the hot dogs? Damn, man. Them mushrooms gonna be hard as fuck. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Let's scrape up the beans. At least it's hot. Damn. Ooh. Good good job. Good good job, Jackie. You're you're killing it. You're killing it, Jackie. Jackie is such an anomaly. In a, in a world where anybody can cook anything anymore, right? We, we all have the ability to Google things and we all have the ability to DoorDash stuff. And it's a simple, literal finger tap away to get recipes, instantly good recipes at that. Even video tutorials, detailed video tutorials on how to make deluxe versions of whatever you're cooking. And for some reason, we find ourselves here deep frying or not deep frying but frying up frozen food that's that's that let's be honest here for a second is an abomination on an unclean pan on a stove that looks like it's been seasoned four or five times uh in the past three days with the same greasy ass food that she's been cooking on the same pan it, it's just it's something about it like the novelty of the situation is just beautiful to me okay Making toad in the hole for my blue collar husband before his 11 hour shift. Dude, this dude be working, bro. Maybe he just doesn't want to be around his wife, dude. If I'm being honest, that's probably the reason. Ooh. Ugh. Wow. What, what is this stuff over here? Is this some kind of like breading or something like that? This like... I don't even know what you want to call this, this, this fermentation, this sloppy, I don't know what this is, but it's gross. Oh, she's using a different utensil. She's not using that same scraper, that same spatula, the indented spatula. We'll give her some credit. Good job, Jackie. You're using a different utensil. I mean, you know, it takes away a little bit of the points that I said earlier, but it shows that she has versatility, that she can actually go out of her, out of her realm of normality and experience in different areas. But somebody let me know, somebody let me know what this stuff is right here. Is it bread? Deep frying corn is crazy. Where's the salt? Dude, she ain't salted, dude. I, I didn't see any salt. It, that's the signature. Where's the salt? Oh, oh, she brought back. She brought it back. Scraping that shit up. Damn, bro. Tough. You be chomping on that shit all day. It Just having the flakes in your mouth from the Teflon really seals the deal. Really going to take off a few extra years of your life, but, like, why do you even need those extra years? Let's be honest here for a second. Those years don't really matter, especially if you're eating after what Jackie cooked you. The Teflon, probably the best part. Cooking an, a, a pre-made TV dinner that you're supposed to just literally throw into the microwave for like five minutes is actually insane, dude. But I love, I love that it's, it's, it's just like this. Literally making the job harder. And then also throwing it in a pan that's already covered in the, the residue, the, the slop from the previous food. It just, it's just beautiful. Chef's kiss. Oh. 
Damn, there's a, there's the salt. What a pepper. Oh, yeah. Look at all that pepper, dude. Damn, frozen too at that. Ooh. Ooh. Got chopped into it. I, 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 I think that shit's still frozen. I'm gonna keep it a buck. I think that the food, like, was barely cooked enough on the pan to make it uncold. If it's, if it's not frozen, it's still cold. 100%. Let me look. Hold up, hold up. The meat, most definitely, is, like, still packed together. That shit is still frozen. And then whatever this thing was, whatever this thing is that she threw in the pan, which I'm guessing is, like, some kind of mushroom, I'm guessing? That's 100% still, that's 100 still frozen. That meat is literal frozen, dude. You're gonna be chomping into that shit like you're, like you're an Eskimo, dude. That's that, that is just it's just straight up frozen meat. Damn. Tough. Tough. It's like kind of edible. Like the one thing, it's like every time I see her making the food, I'm like, dude, if you told me this was like some gourmet shit or like it was just some bad food that somebody made and you were like it's not that bad bro go ahead and eat some of it right i wouldn't think twice about it because like the the, the presentation is okay you know what i'm talking about like it looks okay just from a glance like a five out of a five out of ten maybe a four out of ten which for most people is okay i know there are a lot of people out there that think that they're only gonna eat 10 out of 10 foods which is crazy everybody knows that there's no way you're gonna eat 10 out of 10 foods every single day so let's be honest here for a second eating eating jackie's cooking is not that bad in comparison but once you take that first bite and then you realize 80 percent of it is just oil from the pan and then maybe like five percent of it's teflon then you realize that what what grave mistake you've made and you probably just deducted like a good two years of your life off of it dude aren't you supposed to boil this stuff why are we making why are we making noodles in a frying pan I, out of everything that you can make in a frying pan noodles is kind of crazy dude the pancakes kind of made a little bit of sense since they were pancakes and people make pancakes in pans default so i guess it's kind of okay but this is uh this is different dude you're gonna like literally oh, cheese too cheese pasta for her blue collar husband before his 13 hour shift hot dogs and cheese pasta I, is this gonna boil in the 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 the, the grease in the, in the oil is that is that the plan it's gonna be very dry damn damn do no, you know what dude maybe she do, really does love her husband but I just think it's really fucked up to just toss the hot dogs in there like throw a little bit of love and care in a pan you know what I'm talking about like actually throw them in with a little bit of love Think about how beautiful your husband is. Think about how amazing he is while he's going to be indulging in these hard-ass fucking noodles and these undercooked-ass hot dogs. Damn. Them noodles is literal burnt. Did you see on the side here? Look on the side. Look on the side on the left here. Damn, them shits is fucking fried, dude. They're literally cooked beyond belief. They're all they're brown. They're turning brown because they're they're dry noodles. You're supposed to wetify them first. You're supposed to domesticate them in a pot of water before you throw them in a pan like this, dude. I, I, I could still see the cheese dust on the noodles themselves it, it, because they're so they're so not mixed in, dude. This guy is literally about to be chomping on some hard ass noodles. Damn, them shits is literal. <laughs> Damn, dude. Okay. Cheese, which looks like... You know those, like, caulking guns that you put like that? You know what I'm talking about? Those 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 guns that you can slice off the top, put them in, like, one of those things, and you, like... You, you know what I'm talking about? You seal up, like, driveways and shit like that? I feel like this is what that looks like. If, if you're getting your cheese out of a fucking tube like this, I gotta let you know something, okay? Cheese is not supposed to come out of a tube. I'm gonna let you know that right now. Now, I know a lot of people might be critiquing me, and they go, David, cheese is basically just fermented cow titty milk right i get it i understand but think about the circumstance we're in right now okay you could have actual real world cheese that costs a little bit extra or because i feel like you got to go out of your way to get something like this 
or you can get the original cheese out of a can. Sorry, out of a tube. Oh. Oh. Why does it look like that? Oh. Man, that shit is brown. The cheese is not mixed in. You <laughs> Did you guys hear the noise of the noodles hitting the pan? The noodles hitting the plate? Hard as fuck! Hard as shit! Listen to listen to the fucking the tumble. Listen. Alright, it's just it's just disrespectful at this point, dude. I don't know. How the fuck is this dude gonna eat that shit? It's literally hard noodles that were just fried in a pan, making them even harder. And the cheese, I think this is the cheese right here. It just fermented because it's not even real cheese. It just turned into like what you find on the backside of a mummy. Oh. Damn. Scraping up that Teflon. You might as well just lick the pan at that point. Damn. What are we giving this on a scale? Oh my god, that cheese is busted, dude. You're gonna crack a few teeth eating this shit. And you know you're gonna do it for your wife because you love her so much. And you care about her. And she's your dream come true. She's your wife after all. She made you a nice, fine delicacy. And you have to sit there and tolerate eating this shit in front of Jackie. While she... I don't know what Jackie eats. Maybe she just... Maybe she just lives off the sustenance of seeing her husband suffer. Maybe that's what it is, actually. Like, she's like a vampire for watching people suffer eating her food. Alright, bro. That's... Nah, dude. Come on, man. Homemade mushroom and bacon noodle soup? What the fuck are we putting into the pan? Why are we uniting two different greases? Damn, salt in that shit, too, is crazy. Oh. Oh. Your arteries right there, dude. That's solid grease. Yo, I just I just love just tossing. By the way, there's a little bit of moisture in the pan. It's not like it was last time with the just literal oil cooking the noodles in. But this is a little bit better because I guess the, the sauce is a little bit watery. But you shouldn't be cooking your noodles, ramen noodles, by the way, in a, in a pan with the only water in the pan being the sauce itself. Dude, this shit's not even cooked, bro. Hard as fuck. Salting it too is insane, dude. That shit's already hard as fuck. I don't know where you think that fucking salt is going. Damn. Hard, bro. Jeez, no liquid to be found in this pan. Gotta let it cook a little bit, Jackie. That's come on, dude. That's just gonna be in the pan for another five minutes. Oh man, that's just gonna be hard as fuck. Damn. I feel for the husband, dude. I really feel for the husband, dude. I don't know why she doesn't make enough for herself, too. I want Jackie to do a cooking video where she eats the food. Because this is intolerable food. There's no way somebody's eating this. I'm hoping this is all rage bait. And that she's, like, wanting people to watch this so that way people will react to it and see, like, how disgusting the food is. But part of me thinks that it's kind of real because the consistency of the uploads, right? I think that it might be real. But there's a good possibility that it's not. I mean, I'm hoping it's not. Otherwise, her husband is, like on death's door consistently every day working 11 hours and then coming home after like that like working blue collar meaning like you're working hard like with your hands and then you come home to jackie and she's just sitting there on the couch and on the on the table in front of you is the blue plate that's been pre-seasoned with the food you ate last night which was just basically grease and now you have to eat the grease again with some hard ass fucking noodles with some random pork in there that she just found in the fridge you might as well just lick the stove. I mean, that'd be like the equivalent of like, I would rather, inst like, you know when you go to a glory hole and you put your meat into the glory hole? I would rather put my tongue on the rim of the glory hole and lick the meat residue than eat this particular type of food. Oh. <laughs> 
her husband her husband after she after he eats her food ready for it oh the relief the relief dude that's exactly what it'd be like right you gotta have that plumber on retainer caribbean inspired stew steak for the first time with rice and peas okay where's the rice don't don't tell me it's just regular like hard rice don't don't do that don't do that okay beans is all right damn watery bro some seasoning powder okay where the rice at damn that's generous a, a bag of rice oh my god she's seasoning it though that shit is sticking to the pan dude Not, not the worst I've seen. I've seen her cook way worse than this, dude. She's... Out of everything that you could cook, like, why can't you just make the guy a sandwich? Like, why can't you just make him cereal or something? Like, anything else would be better than this. You can't really fuck up sandwiches, and you can't fuck up cereal. Like, there's nothing you can do. Just go to the store, buy a box, get some milk, you're good. You don't even need, like, a spoon, realistically. You could just put it all into the bag, and then you'd be eating it out of that. It'd be way more sustainable to do that than to sit here and cook this man these disgusting gourmet meals every single day. Why is this even Caribbean? Like, out of all the things that we could call this, why is it Caribbean? What about this is Caribbean, man? It's a lot of food, though. It's a lot of calories, too. Damn. Damn. Ooh. Mashed potatoes out of a fucking can. Oh. Dude, what? Mashed potatoes and... And, and, and meatballs? Is that normal in the UK? Somebody let me know down below, dude. I've never seen this before in my life. I would never, ever eat mashed potatoes and meatballs together. That is a crazy-ass combination. Maybe I'm missing out. But frying the mashed potatoes is also crazy. Salt in it, yup. A little bit of pep mop, damn. And Jackie going overboard on this one, dude. Damn. Damn. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. And if you did, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. You probably noticed that I switched shirts in the making of this video. It's because I had to record it at a different date because uh, some shit went down and I had to re-record it on a different time frame. But it's okay. The video came together all the same. But um, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate that. So if you could do any of those things I just listed, I would appreciate that. Helps me grow on the algorithm. If you watched the video and and or you, you got here, I don't know how you got here, leave it down below by typing in... Uh, I guess petals because I have petals right here and I know they look a little gay But these are like skincare patches So if you have like a pimple or something like that you could place it onto your skin and it'll get rid of the pimple in a timely manner So I use those I know a lot of people think I might be gay for using those you're not gay for using those you're just I guess proactive, right? You're proactive no pun intended because remember those old proactive commercials where Adam Adam Levine was on there and he was like I've been using these for a while now, and I almost never have acne. I'm looking at the guy like, dude, you're 40. Like, what are you talking about, dude? What are you fucking saying right now? But anyway, write down petals down below, and I'll recognize your beautiful, amazing spectacularness. And by the way, uh, you look amazing. You look really good today, spectacular even. And you don't even have a mustache, or do you have a mustache? I'm not really sure. But either way, you look amazing, fantastic, beautiful, all these things spiced up, completely spiced up, not in the same way that... Uh, you know, not in the same way that Jackie spices things up, but in your own way, which is beautiful and spe spectacular nonetheless. Anyway, guys, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord. It'll all be linked in the description down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.